Hey, Chip Whitley here. Um, this is day 15 of the YouTube 366 challenge, and today I'm thinking it's old school Friday. I just got done watching a lot of the Mitch Hedberg. Um, that's going to be my topic today. And I like a lot of those old kind of comedians, like a Stephen Wright, or, I mean, I like a good joke, um, a good joke comedian, like, you know, you you have a Don Rickles, or, uh, you know, some of the older ones, a Richard Pryor is a good one, but I always liked a good, um, thought-provoking comedian, one that can use wordplay, too, like a Mitch Hedberg, or a... Stephen Wright or uh, um, Dimitri Martin. Ooh, pardon me. But I've always liked those kind of comedians, like uh, where Mitch Hedberg would say something like that he bought a parrot, the parrot talked, but didn't say I'm hungry, so it died. It's just like, it's just so out there and off the wall. He said he used to be in a death metal band. Um,. You know, like, some of them would have names like Mortuary or Obituary. His wasn't that hardcore, so it would be just named Injured. And then it would be named Acapella, after he got named, after they got out of the pawn shop. So. And just all these crazy little, you know, things that you would never think of until all of a sudden... Oh, you know what? That didn't, that makes sense. Uh, what was it? Stephen Wright used to say stuff like his cousin had HDADD, High Definition Attention Deficit Disorder. He didn't pay attention, but when he did, it was unbelievably clear. <laughs> just, and he said it, and they said it in this voice where it was just like very like monotone. That's I think what made it even funnier was the fact that it was a monotone um, conversation where it was just, you know, like a Dimitri Martin or somebody like that, or a, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I'm saying things over and over again, and I'm trying to figure out how to say it without just sitting here repeating the jokes over and over again like a doofus. Because they would say it a lot better than I would. But, you know, that's just... and But that's how the awesome they are. You know, they are just that good. And if I was to recommend anything, any comedian to anybody, check those people out. You know, like, Mitch Hedberg had a joke where he said that he was going to travel to all the um, places and put pins in all the places that he's traveled to. But first, he's going to travel to the top two corners of the map, so it won't fall down. <laughs> Just, uh, God rest his soul. He was great. And I would have loved to have seen him these days. Like, how he would embrace Twitter, and how he would embrace that 140 character limit, and how he would embrace, you know, how his jokes would translate to today. Would he be as popular today, though? Just like a lot of these other artists who have passed away in their prime, or passed away, you know, at a young age, would they be as popular today if they were still alive? Or did they just die at the right time? You know what I mean? To be considered legendary. Like, you never know how big Nirvana would have gotten if Kurt Cobain hadn't killed himself. I mean, they probably would have gotten pretty... They were already just, like, the biggest band in the world, and they only released, like, three albums. So, but would they have been, like, just a fad? Would they have just kept releasing six, seven, eight CD? You know, would they have just kept doing CDs and it just not being as popular like some of the other grunge artists of the day. You know? Just things to think about. Like Hank Jr. Or Hank Sr. I'm sorry. Would Hank Sr. have been 
as legendary as he was, I mean, he was already an amazing songwriter and an amazing singer, but to die at 29, do you think he would have, if he would have lived to be 79 or 89, you know, if he would have lived to be that age, how long do you think he would have kept being popular? I mean, would we have been, would we be talking about him in this legendary, you know, stance? We might have, we might be thinking that these people would be, you know, legends, um, if they were still be alive, but you never know, fads come and go, you know, you think that some artists are gonna last forever, and then in another five, ten years, they're done, you know, you never hear from them again, um, but yeah, Mitch Hedberg is, right now, is going to be, that is, um, Old School Friday, um, go check out Mitch Hedberg, uh, he has three, he has three albums, um, Do You Believe in Gosh, Strategic Grill Locations, and Mitch All Together, um, and go check out, you know, like, comment, sh uh, sh sh like, comment, and subscribe, and share, and whatever my, uh, Chip Whitley, um, Facebook page, this video, my, uh, Twitter page, at Chipster Whitley, all the comments, and there, or all the comments, well, all the comments will also be down below, but all the, uh, you know, links will be down below, um, if you have any comments or things you want me to DM or about, just, like I said, leave them in the comments, tweet me, you know, whatever, and, uh, I'll yap at y'all tomorrow for Suggestion Saturday. See ya.